How's it going, Sheep Tits? My name is Gamer Baconator, and welcome to Project Zomboy. Huh? Uh, now, uh, Rodney Dawson is not with us anymore. Uh, he is gone, <laughs> reduced to ashes. It's, it's. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. It's just. It's. It's too soon. I still fucking miss him, man. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh. I got to fucking around with the mods, and I broke the save. So, I gotta start over. Uh, this time, uh, James Hollington, a preacher. Well, I mean, it says, like, priest here, but uh, he's basically supposed to be, like, a local, like, small-town pastor. Uh, because I, I, I've played priest characters in this game before, but... I've never really actually played, like, a pastor character. There's not a whole lot different. It's just an outfit difference. However, I am going to be turning this guy into a warrior priest. So, basically, my goals for this episode is get to the uh, Rosewood Police Station and get everything that I can from the armory and then start fortifying the church. And we'll just go from there. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot that I've got uh, true music installed or enabled, I mean. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to try and avoid any copyrighted material. I mean, you telling me you don't have a single... I mean, I'll take that. Uh, you don't have a single... Duffel bag in here. What's this unknown? Let's look closer. What is it? Picture of friends. Why is the twigs? Get that shit out of my inventory. Get that shit out of my inventory too. Now I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, I, I feel a little rusty with recording because, well, the last time that I recorded anything was about a month or two ago, I think. Uh, hopefully... I'll, I'm going to be getting back into more consistent content and stuff here soon. Uh, I'm just, I've got so many other things that I'm kind of wanting to focus on, like uh, game dev and mm, just chilling and stuff like that. I'm going to actually, let me get a drink before we, because I'm going to go ahead and head to the police station. Uh, there, there should be a duffel bag in there. Yeah, I, uh, I did spawn in a truck because, well, it just wouldn't make sense for him to just not have a truck. I mean, this is like, what, you know, it just, I mean, I know, I know the kind of logic is that the house you wake up in is not necessarily your house. But I always like to imagine that, oh no, it's actually your house. So then it's kind of, oh, dog! Um, I have no idea how to tame those. I have absolutely no idea. No! You get the fuck away from that dog. That is one of the Lord's creatures. Now let me look at the, I'm going to actually bring the mod up here real quick. Okay, so I am not in a position to get this dog. But, yeah, there's no, there's no, like, drop down or anything. Uh, so, I, yeah, I'd say I probably would need to actually have a leash and stuff in my inventory for it to actually show up. Um, I guess I'll just, I'll keep an eye out for the leash. And I'll just, in the meantime, try and just protect the dog. Luckily, it's close to the church, so if I could, like, get it to go inside, I don't know if the dogs can open doors or not. I mean, uh, I mean, apparently they can do a lot of human stuff, so... No, no, I, no. I'm clearing the area first. I am not leaving that dog with all these zombies around. That's just not, that's just not right. That's not what a man of God would do. 
Uh, let me make sure, because I don't know, I don't really have, like, a way of getting this dog to a safe place, like, because, I mean, well, it's a mod to begin with, so the game is probably not necessarily going to work with me on messing with that dog, because, well, yeah, dogs have not been added. I don't, I don't actually know if they're going to be added for build 42 or anything. I know they're adding, like, uh, farm animals and stuff like that, but I don't know if they're adding wild animals. Uh, I will say, I mean, I understand why they did it, but, like, the fact that apparently they're not making any of the animals, um, attackable by zombies, it's like, I mean, that kind of takes away from it because... I, I personally like to play Project Zomboid as if it is, like, The Walking Dead. So, you know, I want Project Zomboid to be as, like, brutal and realistic as The Walking Dead can be. You know, because, like, think of the horse scene in uh, Episode 1. I mean, yeah, you know, there's not a whole lot shown, but still, those walkers, they just... They get a hold of the horse and they just go all in. Like, they're not even trying to be delicate. And that's one thing that I just really like about... Um, compared to a lot of other zombie media and stuff... Um, the zombies in The Walking Dead actually act like feral animals. Like... You know, it's just, it makes them a lot more horrifying because they're not acting like people. They're, they're just straight up like, you know, I'm hungry. You're made of meat. Oh, let me have some. Like, they just dig in. And then there's also Shiva's death. I mean, you know, because I'm going to go over here. And, uh, get a little solution. But, uh, yeah, like, zombies, zombie deaths are already usually pretty gruesome in a lot of movies. You motherfucker! Let's get in, let's get what we came for, and let's get out! Ooh! Ooh, not a fan of that. Uh, Pulaski Axe, that's, well, that that's not necessarily what, I mean, I'll take it if it's the only one that I, if uh, it's the only one that's here, but I'd rather, well, you know, no, I'll take the Pulaski Axe, because, you know, if I, if I happen to need a shovel for some reason, there, I've already got a shovel. I'm going to need to find a lighter or matches or something because uh, James is letting that depression get to him. Yeah, so let's just, let's go back over and get in to that police station. And yeah, I know, I know your little feeties hurt, alright? I know. But listen, you think Jesus complained when he was put on the cross for three three days? Something I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really know the story exactly. I mean, you know, I, I've only heard bits and pieces. Hey, why don't you all actually come in here so I can actually get a key? I mean, not like that. I need a key. I, I am the key. Now, what we got in here? A ball. Mmm. Yes. Yes. The most. The most elegant weapon. I mean, you know, you got your Glocks. You got your Mossbergs. And you got your Bongs. I mean... That's disappointing. That is... That's very disappointing. Because I was hoping that I'd be able to smack a zombie in the head with a Bong. Good. Thank you. Fast forward that. Because I've got the 
I've got a few, um, like, immersion-based mods installed, so, like, the longer smoking time. Let's see, I'll take that. What's the, what's my capacity right now? So I've got 19. Oh! Well, throw that out. Let's read these. Maybe, who, who knows? Maybe they're the holy bribble. Well, at least he's getting tired at a logical time. Most of the time, Project Zomboid characters will get tired in, like, the middle of the day. But, then again, I feel that. What? Never thought I'd miss Mondays, but here we are, in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. It's strange how the little things we took for granted become the things we yearn for the most. I miss the sound of the alarm clock, the rush to get ready for work, and even the annoying morning traffic. Fuck off! I'm trying to read! Those mundane routines gave our lives a sense of purpose and norma nor nor normalcy. I'm sorry, this man must have been in infected when he was writing this. It's totally not my inability to speak. Um, now, every day feels like a battle for survival. Uh, but I hold on to the hope that one day, Mondays will return. And we'll complain about them, just like we used to. How dare you put a curse on me like that? Okay. And I think we are ready to fuck shit up. Well, as ready as we can be right now. I mean, not going to be a warrior priest on episode one. I mean, this man doesn't even have any aiming skill. I mean, like, let, let's see here. Unless, well, actually, I think I did. Uh, yeah, I, I gave him a little bit of aiming skill, but not much. I only gave him, I think I gave him, like, the shooter trait. So that's really all that he's got going for him for guns. Fuck you. You got anything good on you? Ooh! You hiding that from me? Well, thank you. Uh, I need to actually, okay, before, let me actually, where is, whoa, okay. But, okay. I need to actually get a saw because I mean I've got the axe oh I was looking yeah that's why you don't text and drive kids mm. but I mean I've got the axe so I can cut down trees but I need something to actually convert those into planks and I also need to find a hammer and nails I doubt that I'm going to find them in here but, I'll just look around. Actually, I should probably actually... Uh, I'll look for this stuff here, but I'm probably actually just gonna run upstairs and, like, take a nap. Oh, okay. So there's a saw. There's some planks. Nail gun, hand file. Yeah, I'll take those. Uh, let's see, I'll take another. No, t box of nails in inventory. Do it, fucker. Is that dog still here? Yeah, yeah. Man's just chilling. Oh, 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 mama. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know if you actually can hit the dogs with vehicles, but I don't want to test it. I, I, I'd rather not. Now, first of all, we got to clear this place out to make sure that it's safe. Damn it. What do you mean I'm not allowed in? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Get it open. Hmm. This is maybe random or something. Ugh. That's a really well secured church. 
I mean, seriously. Hey, hey, I found an inn. Where's the light switch? Fuck, I, I, I should have grabbed like a flashlight. I'm gonna put the baseball bat on the pulpit. This is the baseball bat that Jesus used to beat the shit out of Judas with. Damn it. I hate that little two tile thing that it does. Okay, fine. I'll do it like this. Okay, see, the joke still works. Let's put this shotgun over here, too. Now, if only I had a Bible that I could set next to it. The priests, two weapons. The Lord and twelve gates. What? I did not actually realize that this is as bad a condition as it is. Um, I'm going to run down to the fire department and get that regular axe that I saw. You know, it's funny. <laughs> In some ways, uh, I know a lot of the Project Zomboid towns and stuff more than my own town. But, I mean, I guess that I guess, like, I travel around the Project Zomboid towns more than I do my own hometown. But, granted, there's not a whole lot, uh, there's not a whole lot of it that I want to see. Like, I'm, you know, I'm just being honest. I'm so tempted to pull out the pistol and just start popping, but I don't think, oh, wow, oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, that's another mod that I've got enabled is um, random zombies. So some zombies will just randomly be sprinters. We gotta smoke a light cigarette because we care about our lungs. What's the difference between regular cigarettes, light cigarettes, gold cigarette? You know, like what's the difference with them? Because I know obviously. The difference between regular and menthol is menthol has, like, a minty thing going on. You know, but, like, what is the difference? Because, like, do light cigarettes have, like, less carcinogens in them? Or they're less likely to cause lung cancer and other problems I don't like I, I'm just you know from a non-smoker and everything I, I don't think I doubt um, that there are actually any smokers that watch my channel or anything but you know if you happen to know I mean I, I could actually just google it once I get done with the video um, but you know a little bit of viewer engagement you know Food of the Lord. That's good eating right there. What do you mean you're still hungry? You just had a feast for a king. I'm going to... Uh, no, okay, I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna... Get distracted with other stuff. Because I, uh, I have a problem of... Going out to do one thing. And then getting distracted like... You know, I came down here to get an axe. I remembered because I was messing with the stuff because I came across that, that I had the 1911. So I went to look for 45 ammo. Oh, dehydrated meat stick. Nice. Um, I guess that was already in the backpack, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I just about went to get a bunch of food and stuff from the fire station, but like, one thing at a time. I'm working on fortif uh, fortifying the church. I'll probably focus on food and stuff in the next episode. I mean, there should be a decent amount of food in that house next to the church. So, but I'll still do like a little food run just to make sure, like to gather up every bit of food that I can. Come here, buddy boy. You got separated from your friends, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll reunite you. There you go. Thank me later.
Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So, um, that was actually, that was actually like a survivor. Because I'm realizing now, because yeah, I didn't have a dehydrated meat stick, or peaches, or chili, so... Basically, what I'm saying is, there are literally no consequences to murder. You know what? Oh! Here's what I'm gonna do. Haha! Because I have an another little mod uh, installed that's point blank, which makes it so that if you get right up on somebody, you can't miss. Let's actually, um, I'm gonna actually fortify this house over here before I start working on fortifying the church, because this is probably gonna be, like, my main little area. So. Barricade. My man, I said barricade. What you doing? I said barricade. Why? Okay. I have never heard that sound effect. So I think my man might be glitching out here. Okay, I'm going to try something really quick. I know I could use debug mode, but I actually prefer this. So I'm just going to try. I'm just curious. So just regular run-of-the-mill hammer. Okay. Give me a minute. Uh, let me look into this. Okay, so, uh, I can't figure out what is causing that. Uh, it has just started happening randomly, like, uh, I don't understand why. Um, and it seems like the only hammer that is unaffected is the stone hammer. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I had to swap out the ball peen hammer for a stone hammer. And just going to try and continue on. I mean, I'm probably... Uh, no, I don't know. But, I mean, I... I don't like to, you know, just spawn stuff in like that. But, like, meh. I mean, because I guarantee probably what it is is one of the, uh, the melee overhaul mod that I had. Uh, enabled. Um, even though I've uh, disabled it and everything, it may still be active in this save. Even though I, you know, like I said, I disabled it, but like maybe because I know disabling mods on existing saves can cause problems. So that might have been what happened. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this episode here. Um, if you liked it, then, you know, check out that like button, you know, subscribe, all that stuff, you know, could be, could be cool, make it worth your while, you know, maybe, maybe behind the alley. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, basically, 
uh, if you liked it, you know, all that stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later.